Alright, I'm Ed Hawks and welcome to another Voodoo Unicycles tutorial. This tutorial is all about assembling your brand new unicycle. As you can see, I love it already and I haven't even opened the box yet. Right, let's get this thing open and show you what's inside. I advise you to use a more sensible knife to open the box. Now, this, the first thing you'll see when you open the box is this long thing. Um, and then this other long thing. This, I'm not too sure what that is. We'll come back to that. And a little box. Right, that's all you'll receive. Now let's have a closer look. These are the instructions. But because you've got this amazing tutorial, you're not going to need them, so yeah, throw them away. Don't really throw them away, because just in case. Now, next thing, we've got this little cardboard box, which has the seat clamp and the pedals, and there's a couple of tools in there as well, but we'll come back to this in more detail in a minute. Now, as you can see, this is the seat with the seat post attached. Pretty standard, they will look fairly similar. Next up is the frame. Now I'm pointing out the left and the right stickers because the frame is handed. It's got a back and a front. We'll come back to that. This is the wheel. A lovely green. It's got left and right sides. I'm pointing out the logos here. We'll come back to that in more detail in a minute. Back to that box. First up we've got the seat clamp, which as you can see has already got the bolts fitted. Next up, pedals. Now there's a left and a right pedal. They've got little stickers on, so you can tell which is which. There you go, left and right. Bearing holders. Doesn't These aren't handed, there's just two pretty standard, they all look fairly similar. Now we have four bolts that hold the bearing holders to the frame and we've got this nifty little unicycle.com tool to assemble the unicycle with. There you go, unicycle.com and there is an allen key as well that will fit all the allen bolts on this unicycle. The first thing we're going to do is attach the seat post clamp to the frame. So using the allen key, slacken the bolts off, there's a top and a bottom to the clamp. As you can see, nimbus on the front indicates that's the front and there's a little lip on the top edge. That's to stop the clamp from sliding all the way down on the frame. So making sure it's the right way up and making sure the frame is the right way round as indicated by the slot and the unicycle.com badge is on the front making sure the right hand leg is to the right and the left hand leg is to your left. Slot the clamp onto the frame. They can be stiff because of the paint. If it won't go on, slacken the bolts off as much as they can. Next up, we're going to grab the seat. Now just hold the seat and slide the post down into the frame, making sure it doesn't protrude at the bottom of the frame and then just nip the bolts up. They don't need to be tight because you're going to be adjusting these in a minute. So just nip them up so the post doesn't move in the frame. Next, flip the whole shebang upside down and grab the wheel. Now this is very important. You need to make sure that you put the wheel the correct way round in the frame. The cranks are handed, so if you put it the wrong way round, the pedals will unscrew themselves and possibly damage the cranks. So making sure that the left hand crank is on the same side as the left fork of the frame and the same with the right hand side, take your bearing caps and place them over the top of the bearing. Then using one of the bolts and your fingers, don't use the tool yet, put the bolt through the hole in the bearing cap and screw it into the frame and do the same with the other one. 
do this with your fingers first because it's easy to cross thread them and you'll notice straight away if you do it with your fingers you won't be able to turn it. Then just use the allen key to tighten them down. Now this is really important, make sure that the gap between the frame and the bearing holder is the same on both sides. Tighten down each bolt a little bit at a time, one after the other, to make sure that gap stays the same distance. That way you won't get uneven clamping force on the bearings. Now turn the unisock around and do the same for the other side. I'll show you a bit close, a bit more detail here. There you can see me putting it on, you see it slots down onto the bearing. Centralise it and then put your bolts in. Again, finger tight first. You can see that's easy, going in easily with my fingers there. Same with the other side. Just to make sure that you've got those threads started properly before you use the Allen key. How do you know when you've done these bolts up tight enough? Give the wheel a spin and see how long it will spin for. That is a very good gauge of if your bearings are too tight or not. So as you can see it comes to a stop fairly quickly so I'm just going to slacken off those bolts. You don't need to do this much, maybe a quarter of a turn. And then flip it round and do the same to the other side. Now give it a spin again. As you can see that spins for a lot longer and it takes a long while to come to a stop. Those bearings are about perfect. If you ride with bearing holders that are too tight, you can damage the bearings, so you need to get this step right. Next up, pedals. Pedals are left and right handed, so you need to make sure you put the right pedal on the right side. We're starting off with the right hand side, so you want to find the right hand pedal, which I have in my hand. Right hand pedal has a right hand thread, so you screw that on clockwise. There's normally a sticker on the pedals, and also on the axle there will be an R stamped, hard to see in this shot, but it is there. Now again using your fingers, start the thread off with your fingers, because if you do cross thread it you wouldn't notice if you used the spanner straight off. Once it's threaded on most of the way, use the unicycle.com tool to then finish it off. Spin the unicycle around, almost there now. Left hand, there we go, there's the sticker. Left hand crank, double check that you've got the right crank. And now remember, anti-clockwise for the left hand pedal. As you can see, I'm going against my own advice and using the spanner straight away. There we go, just making sure with my fingers. Remember, anti-clockwise to do up the left handed thread. We're on the home straight, the last step is to adjust the seat post so that it fits you. Now as you can see the seat is as far as it will go and I cannot reach the pedals whatsoever. So we're going to need to adjust the seat post. I can barely reach the pedal there. So what you're going to want to do is grab that allen key that came with the unicycle, go back to the seat post clamp and just slacken off those bolts a little bit. You don't want to be so slack that the post is swiveling around like I've done here, but just so that the post will slide up and down. The ideal seat post height is so that when your pedal is at the bottom of its stroke, your leg is ever so slightly bent, like you can see here. Adjust the post until you're happy that you've got that right, and then tighten up those bolts, just nip them up, making sure the saddle's still pointing in the right direction. And there you have it, one complete brand new unicycle. If uh, you need any help, just shoot us a message on the Facebook or send us a message on YouTube. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching. Now go and enjoy your new unicycle.